Hey Divination, thank you for joining us in this tutorial where I will be showing you how to use half column backgrounds with Divi. So I've provided you with five different asymmetrical uh, column backgrounds which you can download in the blog post which I have mentioned in the description below. So go ahead and download those and without any further ado, let's get to it. So before we dive into the tutorial, let's take a quick look at what we'll be recreating within this tutorial. So these are the different examples of half column backgrounds that we'll be showing you how to recreate within this tutorial. This is what they look like on tablet. And then we have an alternative for phone as well. All right, so the first thing you will need to do is download these images by going to the blog post, which I have mentioned in the description below, entering your email address and just downloading these for free. Then go to your WordPress website, add a new page or open an existing page. Give your page a title. Publish it. and then switch over to Visual Builder. All right, so we have a, an existing section over here, so I'm going to open these settings. And the first thing I'll do is add a background color to this section. Then I'll continue by selecting the following column structure. And before adding any modules to this row, I'm going to open the row settings, open the background subcategory, Scroll down until I come across column one background and I'm going to give my first column a gradient background. You can obviously choose whichever background you want to apply over here. So you could choose a color as well. And then I'll move on to the background image tab and I'm going to select one of these images for my column background. All right. And I'm using the following settings for this background image and then I'll scroll down to the second column and I'll do the exact same thing but instead I'm going to use some different colors over here it's just so you can see that you can modify this really easy without having to change the image at all again I'll switch over to the background image tab use the same image and keep the settings the way they are Right, so now we can start adding a blurb module to the first column over here. I'm going to start off by giving it a title. And then I'll add some text to my content box. I'll also need to give my blurb module a icon. Of course, you could choose whichever one you want to use. And then I'll need to scroll down, open the background subcategory and give a slightly white transparent color to my background. That way the column background will still pop up a little bit, but just enough to still have readable text. Then I'll open the image and icon subcategory within the design tab and give my icon a color that matches the background. And I'll change my icon font size into 46 pixels. Then I'll open the text subcategory, use center text orientation and make sure that the text color is black. Moving on, we'll open the sizing subcategory and we'll adjust the width to 70% and use center module alignment. Then open the spacing subcategory, add 100 pixels to the top margin and 100 pixels to the bottom margin as well. And use some custom padding for your blurb module as well, just so it looks a little bit better. Then open the border subcategory and we're going to give all of the corners 10 pixels. Scroll down the border subcategory and apply a top and bottom border style of five pixels and use a white color for it. So we've applied this to the top and we're going to do the same thing to the bottom. 
right and the last thing we'll need to do is add a box shadow to this blurb module just to create a little bit more depth we're just going to use the first option for this and we're not going to modify anything just make sure that this is the color that you use for your shadow all right now we can clone this blurb module and place it in the second column as well and of course we'll need to change the content and we can also change the icon that's being used. And to match with the column background gradient that's being used, we're also going to change the icon color. All right. Now go ahead and clone this row and change the background image of each column into another one that you can find in the zip folder that you've downloaded from the post. So I'm just going to do this for each one of them so you can see what they look like once they're applied on a real website. So here we have the third background image. Again, we're going to clone this row over here and use the fourth image that you can find within the zip folder. So go ahead and click on the link in the description below, uh, which will lead you to the blog post where you can download these images for free and use them for all kinds of purposes without any restrictions. And then last but not least, we have this last one as well. All right, so again, here we have all of the column backgrounds. And if I switch over to tablet right now, you can see that they get cut off a little bit, but we're about to change that as well. So for each one of the columns, you will need to add some custom padding to the top and bottom, but only for tablet. So add 50 pixels to the top and bottom of each one of the columns. So I've just applied it to the first column and go ahead and do that for the second column as well. And as you can see, this fits a lot better. You can go ahead and do this for each one of the columns uh, to make everything look great. Now, when we look at the mobile version, you can see that this is what we get with these column backgrounds and we're about to change it. Of course, you can use them like this as well, but if you want to change them, you will have to clone a row entirely and start off by disabling the first row on phone and then move on to the next row that you just cloned. Go to the advanced tab and hide this on tablet and desktop. Then move on to the design tab, enable full width and use custom gutter width with a value of one. This looks a lot better right now. And you can do that with each one of the column backgrounds. So again, Hide the first row on phone and hide the second one on tablet and desktop. Go to the design tab, open the sizing subcategory, use full width and a custom gutter width of one. So you can basically apply this to each one of the column backgrounds and you get this stunning result. All right, so the last thing I'll show you how to do is add a blend mode to this blurb module. So go to the design tab, open the filter subcategory and choose luminosity. 
as your blend mode and that way you can see that the colors of your column background get applied to the text as well. And of course you could do that for the second column as well just repeat the same steps. Alright, so now that we've gone through all the steps, let's take a final look at the result that we've recreated within this tutorial. So these are the desktop versions. This is what it looks like on tablet. And we have a nice alternative for mobile. Well, that was all for this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to all our social media channels so you'll get a notification every time we have something new for you. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.